Okay, this is a repeat performance. I haven't done a version of the Joker and the Idiot for quite a long time. But I've got a Joker and I've got an Idiot that uh, keep wanting more and more and more and more and more and more and more. And undeniably, they are pests. If you have a Joker and an Idiot in your life, um, they wear masks because they are chicken shit. They have great fear of figuring out why they are so scared. They have great fear and they wear a mask. A very, I don't know, it's, it's, it's never going to be something that they want to face. They don't ever want to face themselves. So they put on masks and they go around, you know, the Joker and the idiot. Um, the only thing they understand is force. And they want... all they want. All they want is force, 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 and they keep expecting a force to come to unseat them. And when this force doesn't come, they wait another day, another day of sitting in domination, and, um, and they keep waiting and waiting and waiting. And they'll wait for eternity. Very slow learners. Slow learners. They have been stuck in this pattern for 700 years. Seven hundred years. More or less. And it means these ones are hopeless. These ones are hopeless, hopeless, hopeless. Do they want uh, some kind of... Um, no, all they want is to do the same thing they've done for 700 years. Be a joker and an idiot. They keep saying, oh, what are you going to do about it? And I keep looking at them and I said, look at yourself in the mirror, you stupid joker, you stupid idiot. Uh, they won't. They won't look at themselves in the mirror. Uh, they are running on instinct. Their instinct is avoid at all cost looking at myself in the mirror. Put on a mask like Darth Vader and uh, breathe heavily like Darth Vader does with his artificial respiration. And the idiot uh, wears the costume of a cartoon character uh, with the same personality, identical idiot. Um, Joker and the idiot. The answer to having a Joker and idiot in your house is Not again. Not again. Not again. Not again. Oh, yes. I've got them again. The Joker and the Idiot. The question came up today. Do we have uh, artificial intelligences that are stopping the Joker and the Idiot from making a different uh, decision? Some people on the internet say that, you know, that you can get implants or Morgellons disease or something. They're artificial intelligence nanites that keep uh, Draco reptilian extraterrestrials nasty, nasty, nasty. Because even if they 
don't want to be nasty, these um, artificial intelligence things take them over and uh, force them to be nasty. It's just another stupid, stupid, stupid. No, there are no such thing as these things as much as you might think. Oh, I mean, we can make computers and we can make robots. And if I was on Star Trek The Next Generation, these nanite things will put them together and we'll make them a force to be reckoned with. They'll get in your nervous system. And they'll get an extraterrestrial's nervous system. No. And no, no. Everything is conscious. Everything is consciousness. And no, it's not when you're dealing with something. The force of your force is always force. And if you do jujitsu back, well, then the person who's using force against you is going to lie flat on their back, aching because they got flipped. These ones that I deal with, um, these ones are different, and these ones are interesting at all. No, they're incredibly repetitive, incredibly stupid, and uh, how do I get rid of them? Your guess is as good as mine. I think I'm going to be possessed by them for probably 10,000 lifetimes. Can you go to a higher dimensional state to get rid of them? Um, no. How do you get rid of them? You don't. You live with them. So if there are uh, nasty beings in your neighborhood, you know, what do you do if you're in a neighborhood and, the, you know, you move and then the nasties move with you? Uh, the pattern is keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, knowing that they're going to chase you. Breaking the pattern is to stop moving. Stop doing anything all. Let them come. What's going to happen when they come? You never really get used to them. Uh, but on the other side of the street, at least you're not running from them. The ones that I'm living with are constantly your people. So I'm talking to you who's watching the video. The people uh, that are bothering me are the same ones that are you. You, if you're watching this video, you have got a character flaw called pretty much you. Your kit that you are your own character flaw. And by coming to this place and watching me talk to you, it is my way of letting you know. Yes, you are watching this video because. That is what you need to see. You need to see me, and you need to say, hmm, who is this one who is looking at me through the camera? And I'm going to tell you, I am not you. If you want to see yourself, you're going to have to go deep within yourself to figure out who you are. But you cannot look at me and get an answer. I am not an oracle for you. I am not here to do anything for you. I am not your slave. So if you are following this channel um, and you want to have me as your slave, sorry, I'm not here to be your slave and I won't be your slave. And if you're going to um, do anything other than hassle me, I'm going to just sit here and look at you and say, sorry, sucker, you're wasting your time. Now and again, is this you? You're saying, why is he talking to me in the camera saying, you know, these things? It's because you are looking outside of yourself.
for something that you cannot find outside of yourself. You were looking on videos and videos and videos and videos and videos, trying to find out things that you can't find out from video. You are trying and trying, looking out with your eyes. If you're ever going to solve your problem, you need to close your eyes, turn off all of your gadgetry and sit. And sit, and sit, and sit, and sit, and sit, and sit. And don't go back to look for more videos. There is no answer in these videos for you. No. Your issue is you don't know where to look for the answers that you don't even know how to ask the questions. The joker in the idiot is basically you. You're a joker because you pretend all the time, you know, you use a mask and you, you're a great actor. You're a great mimic more than an actor. You mimic things. You mimic things. Uh, and it's just uh, an avoidance. You're always avoiding who you really are by mimicking something else. The fool, the fool is interesting in that a fool is someone who is coming to court to tell the emperor he has no clothes. If you're coming to my court to tell me I have no clothes, I'm going to say, eh, you're the emperor, Mr. Fool. You're the emperor and you're coming to my court to look at me and say, I've got no clothes on. I'm going, <laughs> I've been to plenty of nude beaches. I am not afraid of being naked. Whatever you're coming here for, Mr. Fool, it's to tell yourself, whatever you're doing is a waste of time. But if you have to stand here for 700 more years to finally get the picture, you ain't going to find an answer here because you ain't. You're never going to be my guest here. You're never, ever going to be my guest here. You're an unwise twat. Go sit by yourself. Turn off all your electronic gadgets. Sit, sit, sit. I don't care if you sit for 700 years, but if you ever want to get an answer, First of all, you might want to ask yourself a question, and the question, myriads of questions. What the hell am I doing? No, no, the best I can do for you is nothing. Nothing. Someone said the best thing that... Uh, that I can do for you is, uh, you know, tell you uh, I've got inner silence. Really? I've got a Mercedes Benz. I've got a case of fleas. I've got an itchy nose. You can't find it here. If you're going to be a joker and a fool, it's because you are a joker and a fool. Until you decide, I gotta figure it out on my own. You don't need a psychiatrist. You don't need acting lessons. You don't need a semi-comedic person to tell you, you got problems and, you know, there's no one here that can help you with your problems because the problems are within you and that's where your solutions are. But, you know, if you're still here 10,000 lifetimes later expecting a different answer, mm -mm. Mm -mm. go within is with the old axiom way back, I don't know, of ancient Greece. Go within, go within, 
go within. Don't go without. Don't go into your electronic gadgets on YouTube or wherever the hell else you go looking for entertainment or something to pass the time. That's all I got for you.